Okay, Valve, can you like slow down a bit? I'm having to make too many videos about you. I'm kidding, of course, I love seeing all these updates come in and hopefully you find it helpful when I let you know what's going on. So, let's get started, shall we? Valve has announced three big things lately for Steam Deck and Steam OS. Firstly, if you are on the stable or beta update channels, which you can change yourself in the settings from the Steam button, go into System and then System Update Channel, you will see a new update coming over from the preview channel that includes the temporarily reverted Red Dead Redemption 2 VRAM workaround to pre 3.3 behavior so you'll get better performance. They fixed an issue causing random stutter and they also fixed an issue causing performance drops when a UI element appeared on the screen if the performance HUD was enabled. And they also improved performance in Forza Horizon 5. Next up is a bigger one for those of you in the preview or beta update channels. There is a Steam Deck client beta update available. It's quite a big one for Steam input because there's quite a few tweaks here. They're now allowing users to remove community layouts that they've created. So users who have this config selected won't lose it, but it won't be listed in the community layouts. They've removed a check which would only show your layouts in your personal layouts, even when shared with the community. And it was causing people to think their configuration was not actually exported. They fixed a bug on saving configurations where the controller type could attempt to use a cached value, which was incorrect, causing the layout controller type to appear to be incorrect. And they changed the on-screen keyboard to be on button release instead of press to resolve some issues with focus on the desktop window. They added shared layout preview of layouts, which shows a layout and allows it to be optionally assigned. So if the user clicks on a Steam link to a configuration via Steam chat, for example, while in gaming mode, this will actually be shown. Coming over from the main Steam client is support for Nintendo Joy-Cons. And I'm sure a lot of first-person shooter fans will appreciate this. There is an improved flick stick mode included. Other adjustments include the discovery queue has been added to the home screen under the recommended tab. They're no longer showing a Steam Cloud Sync error notification when you install a game. They fixed an issue where a 2.9 gigabyte read-only library is displayed when the micro SD card is unmounted manually. And the resolution setting picker is now available for non-Steam games and apps that you add to it in desktop mode. Here's the really big one though. This one is really exciting. A Valve developer teased on Twitter how a beta version of SteamOS 3.4 is now being worked on. This will include an update to the Arch Linux packaging base that SteamOS uses. But why is this a big one? Well, it means practically every bit of software behind the scenes is likely to be upgraded, including the Linux kernel that powers basically everything, the graphics drivers, and most likely as well, the KDE Plasma desktop mode to a newer version. I can't tell you exactly what will be new in the desktop mode because it all depends on what version they pick. But the current version of the desktop mode is a little bit old and KDE Plasma gets upgrades and fixes constantly. I'm excited, you guys. I hope you are too. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments.